and I, I struggled with that. But where we are going, I see we are very much there. So, so there are certain things that we have to embrace. Yeah. I already said an employee is manufactured. All of us on this table are manufactured. We're not born like this. So how do you manufacture an employee when you are not a bit? I, I don't want to use the word bias, when you're not intentional. So talent management, whichever model you have, this is it. Um, there are those who are saying, I want to work from 9 to 6. I don't want to come in at 8. Can I stay longer? Come in late. Um, there are those who are saying, I want to work from home two days a week. Post-COVID, I think the expectations of our workforce are changing. The question to HR and the entire business uh, community, are we evolving to meet the needs of our employee workforce. What is inclusivity for you? Are we seeing beyond the biases? I used to proudly say that Ugandans over-index because in the Diageo community, Uganda is not one of the biggest countries in terms of sales value or volume in Africa. But we had more talent out in the different countries as, exp as expatriates. In fact, Kenya got concerned because we had more Ugandans going to London, going to Nigeria, going to Ghana, going to Ethiopia. Because when we nurture our people, they fire. So HR, please, do we have development plans for our people to make sure we position them to take on those responsibilities? And you know the amazing thing is that wherever each one of us went, we pulled a Ugandan.